Anza Pali Makarabo Shabani Baramoshti Kiendi. Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mashallah, Kazusu Prabodosh, the Kalati Ambradosh, the Kai Usari Baba Balege, Dege, 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 Dogo, Rubo Shakata, Maraba Shake, Telebo Koshu, Baraba Kiere Bosch, Tiga Labrodias Covita, Mapredo Susto Brandosh, Tika Barukush, the Brigadi Shala Baraba Siekete, Lebo Rubo Sukata, Libaraba Sukata, Shabaragadi, Lebochtaka. Ambra basan de lebo ko shan de lebo ko shi ta lebo ko shta vata e la bradu gabas ko dorogo du gorobo shandali e de bosata. Father, we praise you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Ma shara baba si ke lebo shatalia. E shala bara basi ke lebo shatalia. Ma sala bara basi ke lebo shatalia. Father, we are so grateful for the gift of the new day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Maraboshte is Kalaba. Oh, thank you. Father, we are grateful. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up to see a new day. Is somebody grateful? Is somebody grateful? Malesio Kori Mashata Libra Goshikada Bila Bora Bashataya. Is somebody grateful to be alive? Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. The Bible says we should enter his courts with thanksgiving and his presence with praise. Lord, we are grateful. We enter your courts with thanksgiving today with gratitude in our heart. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for preservation. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for accessing to your presence. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. La bashata li garosh takaya. Ele bara basula bara kashanda ye. Ele bara basula bara bashanda ye. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sara baselege, sara baselege, sara baselege. Oh, I'm alive and well today. Thank you. I'm alive and well today. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up to see a new day. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up to see a new day. Ma shele katora bashata ya. Ma shele katora bashata ya. Alle baraka sula bara bashanta ye. O zerege dola baria torege barabas ya tenga rabashanta. Thank you, Jesus, for a new day. Thank you for the grace to be alive today. Thank you for the breath of life in my nostrils. Lord, I am so grateful. Thank you for a brand new week. This is the week that the Lord has made. I will rejoice all through this week. Thank you for the miracles, the signs, and the wonders. Thank you because this week is loaded. This week is loaded. This week is blessed. This week is blessed. Mashakatili Barushtaka. Mashakatili Barushtaka. This week is blessed. I want you to speak into the week. This week is blessed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in for a wonderful surprise. I'm in for pleasant surprises from my father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When you wake up in the morning, you wake up blasting in the Holy Ghost. You wake up blasting in tongues. Stir up yourself to pray. Stir up your spirit to pray. On Mondays, we wait on the Lord in the place of prayer and fasting. And today, we're going to be waiting on God in the place of prayer and fasting. First of all, I want us to receive grace to pray, strength to pray, energy, stamina, staying power in the place of prayer. Lord, we receive that grace. Lord, we receive that strength. Lord, we receive staying power in the place of prayer. We will not be tired. We will not be weary. We will not be weak. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Father, renew our strength this morning. Father, renew my strength. Renew my strength in the name of Jesus. Renew my strength in the place of prayer. Renew my strength in the place of prayer. Renew my strength in the place of prayer makala baraba shataya ekedo sulu broko tozi ekateri mashtavaya ela bakori masatali boshete rege de boshete reya abala baraga degede renew my strength in the place of prayer father rababa shatali garabashto kore basataya stay in power in the place of prayer i will not be tired i will not be weak i receive fresh grace fresh anointing if new unction to function 
new utterance in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus let the channels of my spirit open up to you today father speak to my heart today father direct me father order my steps in the mighty name of Jesus oh thank you father for fresh grace fresh grace lift your hands towards heaven Lord I receive grace new grace in the name of Jesus new staying power renew my strength renew my strength I refuse I refuse to be tired today I refuse to be weak today in the mighty name of Jesus say Lord as I wait upon you I receive wisdom today I receive wisdom today I receive divine direction the Bible says they that wait upon the Lord he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Father, I receive that kind of direction. I receive strength. The strength that imparts direction. The strength that gives me wisdom. The kind of strength that shows me the way to go. Even as we wait upon you today, I receive divine direction. Lord, order my steps. I receive new strength. New grace. Some are tired, some are weary. Some are the, on Mondays, they are just exhausted. On Monday morning, they don't even know what to do. They don't know which way to go. But Father, today as we wait upon you, we say we receive a renewed sense of direction. A renewed sense of direction. Divine guidance by the Holy Spirit. Divine guidance by the Holy Spirit. Divine guidance by the Holy Spirit. We do not lean on our own understanding. We will not lean on our own understanding. We will not play gamble with our destiny. Father, we receive receive it a renewal of strength divine wisdom divine direction order our steps all through this week order our steps today and all through this week we draw us from foolish decisions any decision we're about to make that will lead to destruction father let your spirit restrain us let your spirit withdraw my steps from it let your spirit hold it but hold me back from making foolish decisions in the mighty name of jesus i receive wisdom unction to function, divine direction, order my steps in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Order my steps, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mashakata li barakatoshtaka. Eshala barakatu li barabashataye. Ore baso berege dia koroboshtavaye. Ele baku zu karabasho teleboshte vai. Mandere basu karabasho teleboshte vai. Ele ketorobosi karabashataya. E rabaso torebo shekete. Divine direction. Supernatural wisdom. The wisdom that is up from above. I receive it today as I wait upon you. I receive it today as you renew my strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wisdom that is from above, let it flood my heart. Let it flood my mind. Let it give me direction. Show me the way to go. Light my path, O oh God. Order my steps, Father. Withdraw me from foolish decisions. Wisdom to make wise decisions. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Wisdom to make wise decisions. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Makola Bashataya. Every area of confusion in my life. Father, today as I wait upon you, I receive clarity. Hey, I receive clarity. Mako Shata. I receive clarity. Leporosi Atanda. E para katoli gidoshteke. E pretu superadashtikaya. E kelebusu pregadishtakaya. I receive clarity in the name of Jesus. E rababasi karabashataya. Let your light flood my life. Let your light flood my life. Let your light flood my life. Let your light flood my mind. Let your light flood my thoughts. Holy Spirit, filter my mind. Open your mouth and pray. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying. This is not the time to lay cozy under your duvet. This is the time to get up and press in the place of prayer. Holy Spirit, mashekete. Filter my mind with your living waters. Filter my mind in the name of Jesus. Cleanse my mind. Cleanse my heart. Cleanse my thoughts. E kazula baraba shataya. Makosa pretushte kalaba. E rebosiata. Makushe tele neri kadosta kadaya. E pale kadoska tali gabashta. E regadu baraba gida ragadege legedosiata. This week the Lord orders my steps. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Arabasi karaba shataya. David said, you lead me in the paths of righteousness. For your name's sake, O oh God. For your name's sake, O oh God. It makes me to lie down beside still waters. I decree and declare over my life. Open your mouth. 
Ah, this week the Lord will cause me to lie down beside still waters. Nothing will distress my mind. Nothing will stress my mind out. In the name of Jesus, I lie down beside still waters. He leads me. He leads me in paths of righteousness. For his name's sake, he withdraws me from paths of destruction. He withdraws me. He pulls me back. He restrains me by the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, In all your ways, acknowledge Him. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. I acknowledge you, Father, in my life. I acknowledge you in my business. I acknowledge you in my marriage. I acknowledge you in my finances. I acknowledge you in my career. Father, lead me in the way to go. Show me the path of righteousness. Show me where you want me to go, follow. Show me where you want me to follow. Give me divine direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be moved by what I see. I will not be moved by what I hear. I will not be moved by how I feel. In the name of Jesus, I decree that throughout this week, I am moved by the Spirit of God. Every day of this week, I am moved by the Holy Ghost. Every day of this week, I am moved by the Holy Ghost. Araba shakatali baraba shataya. Say, Holy Spirit, fill me up afresh. Fill me up afresh. Pour out your Spirit upon me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Fill me up afresh. Occupy my mind. Occupy my thoughts. Occupy my life. In the name of Jesus, occupy my mind. Mashola balikaro mashataya. E rege dege dege de. E laborosi e koto. E braya kusala preke tosh te kaya. E rabaka susu pereke susu para kasusu ye. E lebu kusu parata. E shebaya kusu pere dash te kanda. E shto dash te kanda. E shto dash te kanda. E leba kusu radosh te kanda ye. Arapato liki parapato. We are pressing for wisdom. <coughs> We are pressing for divine direction. We are pressing for insight and foresight. Insight and foresight in every area of our lives. Divine direction and a renewal of strength from within. A renewal of strength from within. Strength to go on. Strength to do what God has called you to do. Strength to stay where God has told you to stay. Strength to go where God has called you to go to. Mashali Karabasotaya. We receive a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. Strength for everyone that is discouraged. Father, in the name of Jesus, if you're on this altar and you feel discouraged in your spirit, you don't feel like going to work, you don't feel like going to your workplace, you don't even feel like going to your business place. Today is the day of strength. Say, Lord, I receive a renewal of strength. I withdraw strength from your altar of prayer this morning. I withdraw strength, fire in my bones, supernatural strength to get up and go, to get up and go, to get up and go again. Some of you have been praying and praying praying and praying and you have not seen any results. The Bible says Elijah he was on his knees. After he prophesied that there shall be rain he went on his knees and began to pray. He told the servant go and check. Do you see any sign? He said no. Elijah continued to pray. He said go again. Do you see anything? The guy said no. Elijah continued to pray. He sent him a third time. He sent him a fourth time. He sent him the fifth time. On the seventh count he said I see a sign in the cloud, like the hand of God. This morning, the Lord has said, go again. The Lord is commanding you to go again. You have been denied and you say, the Lord says, go again. The road, the Lord, the door was closed against you. The Lord says, go again. Go again to that business. Go again. Go again to that place. Go again. Don't be discouraged. Stay in the place of prayer and in the physical. Go again. Go Go again. The seventh time he saw the hand of God. I decree over your life uh, that this week you will see the hand of God. Open your mouth. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, this week I will see your
your hand. This week I will see your hand. A sign that you are with me. A sign that you have never left. A sign that you are on course. That I'm on course. A sign that you sent me. A sign that you will not let my expectations fall to the ground. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I receive it this week. I receive it this week. The Bible says the seventh time. He said he saw the hand of God in the cloud. Wherever you are going through. I said this week. Father I will see your hand. I will see your hand in my life. I will see your hand in my business. I will see your hand in my finances. I will see your hand in my career. I will see your hand in my health. I will see your hand in the name of Jesus. I will see your hand in the name of Jesus. I will see your hand in everything I do. I will see your hand in my marriage. I will see your hand in my life. I will see your hand in my children's life. I will see your hand in my health. I will see your hand in every area of my life. I will not be discouraged. We will stay in the place of prayer. Continue to push. Continue to press. Continue to believe God. Stand on his word. The Bible says, I don't do not to stand. You keep on standing. Oh, thank you for grace to stand. Thank you for grace to stand. Thank you for grace to stand. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabasila, Barabasila, Barabasila, Barabashandaye. Oh, Rege, Dege, Duga, Laga, Dige, Rege, Dege, Lege, Dosiata. Mako sore bashi kaya balekete e laboro koso ketele boshata e pretu sulu barakati ya bashata e rato makorato 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 e karabasu karabashata ya e Elijah did not get tired. He said, "Go again." Nasula bashata ya. Don't get tired. Don't give up on your business. Don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your finances. Don't give up on your career. Go again. Apply again. Knock on that door again. Try again. Advertise your business again. Whatever the Lord has told you to do, stand on it. Stand on it. Stand on it. Mixella is working just fine. La kori masupa raba shataya. Stand on it. Kali baso de poshi atanda. As you press in the place of prayer, stand on it. Stand on it. Go again this week. Go again this week. Kalo bosika ya. Go again this week. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with me. Oh, the Lord is with me everywhere that I go. The Lord is with me everywhere that I go. He sends His angels before me. He sends His angels before me. He sends His angels before me. They prepare the way. They prepare the place. They lead me to my prepared blessings this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we go again, the Lord sends his angels before us. The Lord goes before us. His spirit goes ahead of us into the week. His spirit goes ahead of us into the week. I, they prepare the way for us. They clear every obstacle off the way. They move them. They bulldoze them out of my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, open your mouth. Say, Father, by your hand, O God, by your hand, O God, Every obstacle in my way, every hindrance in my way. This week, uh, let your hand blow them away. Let your hand remove them. Let your hand uproot them. Let your hand clear them off. Let your hand clear them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your hand, oh God, go before me. Uh, remove everything that is standing as an obstacle. Remove every hindrance my way. In the name of Jesus every mountain standing before me. Lord by your hand this week let your hand go ahead of me. Go into Monday. Go into Tuesday. Go into Wednesday. Bulldoze them. Clear them out. Uproot them in the name of Jesus. Satoli Barashataya, a Kuso Perana Vika Tori Mastakea, a Regedo Makoshi Abaria, no Shabaria, no Shabaria, no Shabaria, a Le Barakata, a Soprecato, a Krutubosiate, a Kalibosu, Poribasum, 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 Poriba, a Shele Barabasum, Poribasum, Poribasum, Poriba, a Le Bacosuri Bashataya, a Regedegedegede, a Leboro Godogodo, a Legedegedegede, a Leboro. 
godo godo ele barabashata ya he kotu supreka 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 i will see the hand of god the hand of god in everything that i do this week in the mighty name of jesus the hand of god brings me nearer it brings me closer to my destiny brings me closer to that miracle brings me closer to the answers to my prayers this week father let your hand close the gap let your hand close the gap let your hand bring me closer to that place to the promised land in the name of jesus let your hand bring me closer to that prayer to the answers to my prayers in the mighty name of jesus this week this week i experience manifestations manifestations upon manifestations upon manifestations back to back manifestations of the promises of god upon my life manifestations of my expectation the bible says surely there is an end Surely there is an end. 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 And the expectations of Allah Bisi Adamu, I don't know about you. The Bible says the expectations of Allah Bisi Adamu shall not be cut short, shall not be reduced. It will not diminish. It will not be diminished. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare all of my expectations this week. I receive them in full manifestation. I receive them in full manifestation. I receive them in full manifestation. My hopes will not be dashed. I put my trust in God. Even as I stand in the place of prayer, every expectation that I have, every expectation that I have, that is long overdue. This week, I receive it in full manifestation. In the name of Jesus. I receive full manifestation. Full manifestation of everything that I've long desired. All my petitions. All my requests. All my petitions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, I superimpose your divine will over my life this week in the name of Jesus. Remember the Bible says he daily loads us with benefits. That means there are things that God has apportioned for you every day. There are things that God has apportioned for you. God is the kind of father that every morning he prepares things for his children. Every morning he prepares things for his children. As a mother and a father wake up to prepare for food for their children on a daily basis. God prepares blessings for you on a daily basis. God prepares blessings, inheritances, things you ought to step into on a daily basis. He daily loads us with his benefits. Lord, today we receive. That's why Jesus said we should pray that we receive our daily bread. He was trying to tell us that every morning when you wake up, your father has something in store for you. Your father has something in store for you every day he does not release his blessings monthly he releases it daily he releases it daily and so by faith in the name of Jesus Christ we draw down that daily blessing that daily benefit that daily bread that the Lord has apportioned for us today stretch your hands towards heaven father I receive my own I receive my portion I receive my portion I receive that which you have in store for me I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. Makora Bashataya, I receive it. Daily strength, daily provision, daily protection, daily bread, food on my table, close to eat, what to go to, divine wisdom, divine direction. It's part of your daily bread. Divine direction that you always know what to do. It's part of your of what you what you are entitled to. It's part of your entitlement in God. Masala Barabashataya. Unction to function. Wisdom to do the right thing. Wisdom to know how to do it. Wisdom to know how to do it. Knowledge, insight, foresight. Our eyes are open. We will not be blind in the spirit. We will not be deaf in the spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord reveals things to us. Even this week, the Lord reveals things to us. Even this week, in the name of Jesus, the Lord reveals things to us. The Lord shows us things to do. The Lord shows me which way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, Bashata Kaliba Sotaya. E sele barabasia barabasata ye. Rege dogo dogo liga barabasia kata. Ambrato si prakatosh de kenda ya. Oh, the Lord shows me which way to go. It's part of the daily benefits. 
is part of the daily benefits. Hali sotore bashtabaya, hara basu supere doshi akata. Wisdom to make decisions that put me at an advantage, that sets me above my peers. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Leku sotore bashtabaya, direction, insight and foresight that sets me above my peers. Hey, that stands me out. Malebo shokotori bakashte kaya. When others are going the north, the Lord says, this is the way to go. He shows me the way. He leads me. By faith, I receive divine direction on a daily basis. By faith, in the name of Jesus, I receive divine direction on a daily basis. By faith, in the name of Jesus, I receive divine clarity on a daily basis. By faith, in the name of Jesus, I receive divine wisdom on a daily basis. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makora bashataya ele brokoto ligi darabasiata e kruto balaka sietere boshtaka ele boroko sietere boshtaki aroko tuli baraka tuli gedoro mosukoto reka tuli baraka tuli gedoro mokosuloto asha bara pati geleketo e sapreketo on a daily basis on a daily basis I receive that direction did he not say in his word <clears throat> he said you will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it he also said in another scripture i am the lord your god who teaches you to profit who shows you in the way to go this week i receive direction to profit profitable direction profitable wisdom profitable steps to take i receive it in the name of jesus christ profitable direction profitable instructions from the holy ghost i receive it i receive it i receive it on a daily basis on a daily basis in the name of jesus i receive it i receive it on a daily basis in the mighty name of jesus mashallah barakat a profitable direction instructions that will profit me instructions that will yield increase in my life I receive it in the name of Jesus instructions that will show me the way to go instructions that will make my one plus one equals to hundred I receive it Lord by faith in the name of Jesus I receive it a profitable instructions profitable direction wisdom that yields increase it's a good to mark a shatter ya hey, the knowledge of things unknown to others huh? the knowledge of things unknown to others huh? ah that i see what others do not see i hear what others are not hearing now huh? every opportunity that comes my way i seize it huh? every opportunity the lord sends to me i recognize huh? i recognize huh? and i take it huh? i recognize opportunities this week huh? my eyes are open huh? my ears are open huh? my heart is responsive huh? in the name of jesus christ Lasso para mastikaye masula bata. He kulo mastikaye masula bata. E rabatu masia pore masika da. Es koluba si koluba shada liyakoski amalika toziaka. E rababa basika te. When we are praying for insight and foresight, there are some things that may not manifest on the spot. They will manifest later. That's when you will know you have insight. That's when you will know that you are seeing ahead. God will show you things six months in advance, five months in advance, and you'll be wondering at that point it might not make sense to you. But as you yield to the Lord in a place of prayer, manifestation will happen. You begin to see that God told me about this some months back. God showed me this some weeks ago. God spoke to me about this some days ago. Insight and foresight. You have information that sets you above your peers. Information that comes from the Holy Ghost that sets you at a higher advantage. You will not be disadvantaged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not be disadvantaged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree that my eyes are open. I decree that my eyes are open. I decree that my ears are open. My heart is responsive, God. Lead me in the way to go. That which you have prepared for me this week, that which you have prepared and set aside for me this week, I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. I receive it by faith. I step into my lot. I step into my portion. I 
receive it by faith. I take it, uh, my daily benefit. I take it, uh, daily provision. I take it, uh, daily wisdom. I take it, uh, daily finances. I take it, uh, daily direction. I take it, uh, daily sales. I take it, uh, daily profit. I take it, uh, daily protection. I take it, everything that you need, uh, it is released on a daily basis. Uh, and I take it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, open doors on a daily basis. Uh, I take it in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, profit in my business uh, on a daily basis. Uh, I take it in the name of Jesus. Uh, open doors on a daily basis. Uh, I take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, divine protection on a daily basis. Uh, I take it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, no evil will befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling place. Every satanic agenda concerning my life and my destiny this week, I cancel, I cancel, I cancel in the name of Jesus. I reject it, I reject it, I reject it in the mighty name of Jesus. Bad news, I reject it. I receive good news on a daily basis. I receive good news on a daily basis. I receive glad tidings on a daily basis this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Kalabasora Bashataya. Daily protection. Daily protection. Daily protection. In my going out and in my coming in. I receive divine protection on a daily basis. Angels all around me. Angels all around me. Angels surrounding me. Surrounding my family, my children, my husband, my wife. Angels all around us. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds my life. The angels of the Lord surround my life. The angel of the Lord encamp around those that fear him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear him. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that I'm surrounded by ministering spirits. I'm surrounded by angels. The angels of the Lord. They surround me all all day and all night in the name of Jesus rabbi akuturi bashataya la poria kusha balia kusha balia kusha balia kusha kaya eh there shall be no accidents this week there shall be no falls there shall be no fall you will not dash your foot against the stone i want you to press him press him i will not dash my foot against the stone there shall be no accident my children will not fall my husband will not crash in the mighty name of Jesus there will not be no road accidents, no air accidents, no plane crash in my going out, in my coming in. I am safe and I am saved. My life is secure. Divine insurance. The blood of Jesus ensures my life. The blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. I hope you are not sleeping. I hope you are not sleeping. Mashallah katiri masotaya. Divine protection. As my children go out and they come in, as my husband goes out and he comes in, in my, my wife, as my wife goes out and she comes in, I decree divine protection. I, re I reject bad news. I reject every phone call that will throw me, throw me off balance. Every phone call that will rush me to the hospital. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. Come on. Oh, Karabasila Barabashataya. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus. My children, I soak them in the blood of Jesus. Mention their names. Mention their names. Mention their names. Asha, Anna, Aaron. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I decree that the blood of Jesus ensure your life uh, protects you from danger, it hey, keeps you from evil and unreasonable men. Uh, hey, the Lord protects you, shields my children uh, from wicked and unreasonable men uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mashallah, uh, we reject domestic accidents, uh, accidents in the house, uh, accidents in the and uh, um, outdoor accidents, indoor accidents. We reject it, we reject it uh, over our children. Uh, not of them will die, none of them will fall in the mighty name of Jesus. We call our children, we drag them in the name of the Lord, we drag them into the strong tower, we drag our children into the strong tower. No evil shall befall them, no plague shall come near their dwelling place in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. We drag them, we drag our spouses in the blood of Jesus. We push them under the wings of the Almighty. We decree and declare. 
that the wicked will not see them. The wicked one will not touch them. I decree that my family, my entire household is divinely protected. I decree in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against my family shall prosper. I stand as a priest over my family and I speak peace. Peace over my family. Peace over my children. Peace over my wife. Peace over my husband. Peace over my siblings. Wherever they are, divine protection. Because a priest is standing. A priest is standing in a gap. Father, I cover my family. I cover my children. I cover my spouse in the blood of Jesus. Not one strand of head is permitted to fall to the ground. Not one strand of their head is permitted to fall to the ground. This week they escape accidents. Oh, thank you, God. Let's press him for protection. He's so heavy on my spirit right now. This week, I and my family, I and every member of my family, we escape accidents. We escape accidents. There will be nothing like bad timing. We will be at the right place at the right time. I will be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus, Satore Mashataya, Ekatorobo Shotoli Garabashataya. I escape accidents this week. My children, they escape accidents. My husband, he escapes accidents. All my siblings, they escape accidents. In the name of Jesus, they escape, they escape. Roba Katali Bashataya. Every trap that the enemy has dug, every trap that the enemy has set, every pit that the enemy has dug for me, for my house. Also for my family, for my children, for all of my friends, all of my siblings. We escape. Our soul escapes. Our soul soul escapes the snare of the enemy. My soul escapes every pit. I jump and pass. I escape it. I will not fall into it. Every pit that the enemy has set, every trap that he has set before us. I say we will not take the bait. We will not take the bait. We escape it in the name of Jesus. The Lord enlarges my steps beneath me. The Lord enlarges my steps. I say I walk over it. I walk over it. I escape it in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying? I escape it. I escape it. I escape fire accidents. I escape road accidents. I escape every form of accidents. Indoor and outdoor. My children, we escape. My household, we escape in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makali Satya. Oh, we are divinely shielded. The Lord is our shield and our buckler. The Lord is a sun and a shade unto my life. Oh, Suli Barakati Mashakata. The Lord is a sun and shield over my life. We escape. We escape in the name of Jesus. When we go out, when we come in, you walk into the bank, you escape arm robbery attacks. You escape stray bullets. You escape as our children go to lesson or go to school or go to the playground. They escape. They escape the sword of the wicked. They escape the sword of death. They escape every arrow that flies by day. Kale basura bashataya. Some parts of the world that used to seem safe, now broad daylight, even in schools, arrows are flying by day. In the daytime, arrows are flying. Playground, arrows are flying. Wicked and unreasonable men stroll into supermarkets and just fire arrows. They just fire arrows. Daddy, Apoda, Mashataya. Oh, but we escape them. We will not be there. Ah, we escape. My children will not be there. My husband will not be there. No member of my family. No member of my family. will be at the wrong place at the wrong time. In the name of Jesus, I say my soul has escaped the snare of the fowler. 
and the noisome pestilence. My soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped in the name of Jesus Christ. E kalabasura bashataya. E lege do borogo dosi ekete. E lege do borogo dosi ekete. E lege do borogo dosi ekete. We escape it. We escape the arrows that fly by day. We escape the destruction that wastes at noonday. We escape it. We escape it. We escape every plot and plan of the wicked concerning our lives. Hey, Rabbi Shataya, let's pray against fire accidents. I just heard that in my spirit. Let's pray against fire accidents. Oh, Reba Shatabasila Barakatozi Ekete. We decree there shall be no hurt, no loss, no damage. Nothing missing, nothing broken in my family. Nothing missing, nothing broken in my life. In my business place, in my office. There shall be no fire outbreak. In my shop, in my showroom. Protecting one designs, you are divinely protected. There shall be no fire outbreak. We quench every smoke. We quench that fire. That fiery that we quench it. I quench it. I quench it. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no gas explosion. In my house, in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no gas explosion. Come on, open your mouth. Be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Be sensitive to His leadings and His dealings in the place of prayer. Be sensitive. Be sensitive. Be escape. In the mighty name of Jesus, there shall be no fire outbreak in my house. There shall be no gas explosion. There shall be no fire explosion in my house. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cover my house in the blood of Jesus. I cover my office in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, angels, I send you to my house. I send you to my office. I send you to everywhere that concerns me. I send you to my family home. I send you to my husband. I send you to my wife. I send you to his office. I send you to our office. Protect them. Shield them. Quench every fiery data. Quench every fiery data in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing missing, nothing broken. There shall be no hurt, no loss, no damages. There shall be no hurt, no loss, no damages. There shall be no hurt, no loss, no damages. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no hurt, no loss, no damages. No loss of life, no loss of property. No loss of life, no loss of property. In my family, in my life, in the name of Jesus. There shall be no loss of life, no loss of property. In my family, in my life, in the name of of Jesus Christ. Karaba shege de lebosi atanda ye. He kusu brega dia kusu brega dosi atega. Oh rega baba 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 lega de. My house will be guided. The Bible says my house will be protected. I mean. The Bible says a thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand by my right hand. But it will not come near me. Why? Because they that keep Israel. The one that keeps Olabisi Adam, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. Therefore, my house is protected. My entire household, divinely protected, divinely protected by the Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Father. Oh, Kali Barus Barikatosh Tevetia. No accidents will befall me. No plague shall come near my dwelling place. No evil shall come near my dwelling place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Salo pore mashataya. Salo pore mashataya. Salo pore mashataya. E grada baraga dogodo siekete. No loss of life. No loss of property. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel losses of all kinds. Any kind of loss, I cancel, I reject it in the name of Jesus. I cancel losses, I cancel losses this week. Losses in my business, losses in my career, losses in my finances, losses in my home. I cancel all forms of losses, losses that come in different shapes and sizes. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Losses that come in different shapes and sizes. I cancel you, I reject you, I refuse you. You do not come to me, I refuse Fuse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Losses of any kind. I reject you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Marabasole barabashanta ye. Ege de barogo duga rege bariga dogi abashanta le. Daily protection. Daily protection. Daily protection. Over my entire household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on. Daily protection. Daily protection is part of my inheritance in Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sale barabashanta ye. Egrede subrede kubrade subrada. We are praying for daily direction, wisdom, understanding, counsel, and might, insight, and foresight. And we are praying for daily protection. The mistake I will make that will lead to losses in my life. Father, restrain me from it. Restrict me from it. Hold me back from making such mistakes. Decisions that I will make that will lead to losses in my life. Decisions that I will make that will lead to regrets in my life. Mistakes that I will make. Steps that I will take that will lead to had I known, had I known, had I known, had I known, I reject it. Father, restrain me. Father, pull me back, pull me back from it. Pull me back from it. Pull me back. Pull me back. Hold me back in the name of Jesus. Salo bakara bashata ya. E gretu buku sura bashaka tele bosu yetori bashanda ye. Ila baya kuri masia bari makuri masia bari makuri masia da. E rege dogo dogo liga diri mashata ya. Mistakes that I will make that will lead to any kind of loss in my life. Father, by your Holy Spirit, I am restrained from it. I am restrained from it in the name of Jesus. I hope you are not tired of praying, man of God. I hope you are not tired of praying, woman of God. Get up from your bed. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Stand up. Pace up and down. Pace up and down. Shake up that tiredness. Shake up that slumber. Say, Father. Mistakes that I will make. Yoruba will say, Ashishe, Unibami, Loruko, Jesu. Hey, mistakes that I will make. Steps that I will take in my career. Decisions that I will make in my marriage, in my business, in my finances that will lead to losses and regrets. Lead to a dino. Father, I cancel it. Father, I cancel it. Ah, by faith in the name of Jesus, I'm restricted. I'm restrained in the name of Jesus. Rabba Shola Barakatu, Esprigus Kotori Gesu Kabali to reach the cave, I hear restraining orders. The Lord just put that word in my spirit. Restraining orders, restraining orders. Holy Spirit, what are you talking about? He says, since we are praying against losses, we must put restraining orders on devourers. We must put restraining orders on devourers, destroyers. Thank you. Oh, I just feel the power of God all over me right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We put restraining orders on devourers and destroyers. We put restraining orders on them. We say, do not cross this line. You could not cross this line. You do not cross my path. You do not step into my home. I put restraining orders on you. Spirit of destruction. Destroyers and devourers. Devourers of joy, peace. Devourers of finances. Devourers of love. Devourers of relationship. Devourers of businesses. I put restraining orders on you in the name of Jesus. I put restraining orders on you in the name of Jesus. On the destroyer and the devourer. I put restraining orders on you. You do not come into my home. You do not come into my home. You cannot. I do not permit you to step into my home in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. I put restraining orders on them. Devourers of all kinds, big and small. I put restraining orders on them. I remember, was it last week or two weeks ago? I had a dream that just a small rat was locking around me locking around me and then try to perch on my feet and I just kicked it away and I woke up. You know how you just wake up from a dream? You know those waking visions? And I woke up, I said, Lord, I just heard devourer. 
That's what I heard in my spirit. I just said, Devora, you know what we have to do? You know, the Lord uses physical things to describe spiritual things. You know what rats do? They devour. They put holes. They put holes here. They put holes there. They put holes here. They put holes there. They come and they just start eating from this. Gradually eating from that. Gradually eating from this. I said, what? What? Under just a short prayer. Under two weeks, the Lord exposed devourers in my business. People that were stealing from me in my house. <laughs> In my office, the Lord just exposed them. The Lord just exposed them. It was like a dream. Devourers that you are unaware of. Devourers that are close to you. I said, Lord, what is this? Who is this devourer around me? So close. He was just looking around. So close. Someone living with me, stealing from me. The Lord just exposed it. No more devourers around me. We do not permit them. We do not permit them. They cannot stay long. In the mighty name of Jesus. They do not, and when God exposes them, make sure that you do not become sentimental. When God exposes them, I was so close. So close to being sentimental. When God exposed a thief in my office. So close. So close. I said, no, this is an issue. This is God at work. This is God at work. This is God at work. I must not permit this. I must not permit this. This is God. When you pray against devourers, he exposes them. Father, we do not permit devourers in our life. We do not permit them in the mighty name of Jesus. I do not permit them. None of my workers will work against me. None of my workers will work against me. In the name of Jesus, we place restraining orders on devourers. Anybody that the enemy is going to use to steal from you, Father, expose them. Anybody that the enemy is going to use, because it starts from something small. It starts from something small. And then the devil will keep expanding the thoughts and imaginations of their hearts. The devil will keep expanding the thoughts and imaginations of their hearts. It starts from something small. None of my workers will steal from me. None of them will work against me. They will work for me. None of my staff will work against me. They will work for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Le karabashata libro godosiata. Oh, that business collaboration, that collab that you want to do, that collaboration you want to do. Father, if it will lead to losses of any kind, if it will lead to regrets, Lord, restrain me from it. Restrain me from it. I just heard that in my spirit. Some people want to come together and do business but you need direction you need direction father restrain me from every collaboration that will lead to regret restrain me from every collaboration that will lead to losses in my life restrain me restrain me from it pull me back in the mighty name of jesus pull me back completely and the Lord will speak into your ears. He will tell you. Sometimes I'll just step into a place and God will tell me, this person is stealing from you. I'll say, God, so what proof do I have? I will hear it in my spirit. I will hear it in my spirit. God will tell me. Maybe I step into my domain. God will tell me, this person is stealing from you. This person is stealing from me. I say, God, what do I do? And God will say, prayer will expose them. Prayer will expose them. And God will just make them mistakenly do something stupid. And that's it. That's it. That's it. You just catch them. We do not permit devourers of any kind. We do not permit devourers of any kind. In the mighty name of Jesus, I do not permit them. I do not permit devourers of any kind. In the name of Jesus, devourers in my business, devourers in my finances, devourers in my marriage, devourers in my home, I do not permit them. Devourers in my career, I do not permit them. Destroyers of destiny, I do not permit them. Time wasters, money wasters, I do not permit them. In the mighty name of Jesus, destroyers in finances, I do not permit them. I put restraining orders for you, from on you. I 
I said, thus far will you go? I mark my territory, the territory of my business, Protecting One Designs, the territory of my ministry, the territory of my marriage, the territory of my finances. I mark it by fire. I decree and declare that you do not step in. You do not step in the territory of my family. No road, no access, no access, no access. Access denied you. In the name of Jesus, access is denied. Arabaya kuraba shataya. Ele barababa subrege do shekende ye. Hula susu pele kira mashavata. Ele korumo shiva i karubo shodaya. E brege duguru gusku baringa dusku baria dusku baria dusku baria dusku taya. Ele bayaka masila baraba shataya. Access denied in the name of Jesus. Mark your territory. Come on. Mark your house. Mark your shop. Mark your office. Mark your career, mark your office, mark your finances by fire. Mark your marriage by fire, mark your house by fire. Mark your children by fire. Lasa Torah mika shataye. Leka Torah mika shataye. Eka Torah mika shataye. We do not permit you. Thus far will you go. I do not permit you to cross the line. In the name of Jesus Christ, San Leborodo Sheketeya, who so brebadia kurubusunta ye, a legu superni alusu barata, a ragodoku and bascode ye. I hope you are praying. Oh, rabababababa, marked by fire. Protect one designs, you are marked by fire. Ignite ministry, you are marked by fire. Ola Bisi Adamu, marked by fire. Joshua Adamu, marked by fire. Asha, Anna, Aaron, marked by fire. My household, marked by fire. My siblings, home and abroad, marked by fire. My cousins, marked by fire. Oh, in the name of Jesus, because I'm standing, because I'm paying the price to pray for them, I mark them by fire. I mark them by fire. Come on, mention household. Mention your mem- the members of your household. Mark them by fire. Look, Urubo Shataya. Look, Urubo Shataya. I mark them by fire. It will not come to pass. Every plan of the devil concerning them. I quench it. I quench it in the name of Jesus. 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 I quench it in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ. It will not stand. Neither will it come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic agenda. Oh, that will lead to losses, regrets, shame. In my life, Father, by your mercies and in the power of God, I escape in the name of Jesus. Those are the kind of prayers I pray for my life. I say, Lord, keep me. Keep me, God. Keep me, God. Keep me, God. Every plan and plot of the enemy to make me fall, Lord, I escape. By faith, pull me out. Cause me to run away. Cause me to escape every plan. Every trap that the enemy has set before me, every bait that is handing me, I refuse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Accidents that will make people say, you know, there are some kind of things that will happen that will make people say, but she they pray. But he they always pray. But at them they always prophesy for their life. No evil. After all the prayer, how can this happen to her? Father, what will make men say, where is my God? What will make men say shotam? What will make men say after all your prayers, Allah be seen, Father, Lord, it will not be for me. It will not happen. It will not come to pass. Neither will you see the light of day. In the mighty name of Jesus, kola bashata ya eregedo sulupuruton di akadabashiketa eragadu basi aparabosh tekenda ye lusu preva dia lusu preva dia hakodo si ekatushtaka. When I pray like this, I'm on my knees, Lord. Era bakushi gabaya kasu bentia ganda bentia. Don't let men mock me. Don't let men mock my prayers. Don't let men mock my faith. Don't give them the permission to mock my relationship with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything that will make men say, mm-hmm. "We said it. I said it." Evangelist, mm-hmm. I said it. Father, I escape it. Those are the prayers I pray in my secret place. I escape it. I escape it. I escape it in the mighty name of Jesus. David said, they lie in wait. They lie in wait for my fall. They lie in wait for my trouble. Daily, they seek my trouble. They seek persecution after me. They seek what will bring tears to my eyes. They seek what will make them satisfy. That thing they want to satisfy in their hearts. I will say, "Mm." it will not last. We said it. It will not work. Oh, I started a business. It will not stand. Let's see how fast she will go. 
Anybody that is waiting to see how far you will go. Anybody that is waiting to see how far you will go. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, they are disappointed. Oh, the Lord disappoints them. In the mighty name of Jesus, whether they are spirits or they are physical beings, it's not my business. Anybody waiting to see how far you will go in life, how far your marriage will go, how far your business will go, how far this new job will take you, how far your career will take you, how far your business will last, how far your ministry will stand the test of time. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, they shall be disappointed. They shall be disappointed. They shall be disappointed. In the name of Jesus Christ. David said something. He said, by this I know that thou, O Lord, you favor me when you do not permit my enemy's will to come to pass in my life. When you do not permit the will of my adversaries to overcome me. By this I know that you favor me. <laughs> David divine favor. He said, favor is when God does not permit their hard desires, the hard desires of the wicked, the hard desires of evil men to come to pass in your life. That is favor. That is favor. When God disappoints them, Makora Bashataya, Enrege Dogodo, Suni Baratia, Kondus Kabaya, E Kadaya, Sulu Bruku, Dere Katoria, Mascote, Lego to Shotaya, E open your mouth and pray, Katosia Tarabashata, E Katosia Tarabashata. Every intention of the enemy concerning me this week, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, up until Sunday, I decree that you would be disappointed. Satan, you will be disappointed. In the name of Jesus, uh, principalities and powers, the Lord disappoints you. The Lord disappoints them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalabarabashata libra doshtakaya. O kabusi barabatu sumbelikundu sumbelakundu yon suberagadu yon sondaya. By this I know that God favors Olabisi Adamu because he does not permit the wishes and the evil imaginations of men to even come to pass. They do not see it come to pass. It will not stand, neither will it see the light of day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says the heart of a man is desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. And some people are so powerful that when they project evil on someone, they make sure. When I say people, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But sometimes, principalities use flesh and blood. They use them. People, some people give themselves to principalities to be used. Father, the Lord favors me. Ah, he favors me. Their thoughts and their imaginations will not come to pass. He will not see the light of day. Anybody that the enemy has set or wants to use against me. As I pray in the spirit, I cancel it. I cancel their thoughts. I cancel, I quench it, quench it, quench their imaginations. In the mighty name of God, the imaginations of Satan concerning my business, the thoughts and the imaginations of Satan concerning my finances, concerning this ministry, concerning my marriage, concerning my children, I quench it, I turn it off, I scatter it, I send confusion into his mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, principality, and powers wherever they've gathered concerning me in the mighty name of Jesus that gathering is scattered, 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 scattered in the name of Jesus Christ Kora basili barato jataya enku belusi akurumus kalika baratuzi emperedi shabata I want you to command your money every time we do this I see miracles I'm telling you every time I speak into the womb of the day it always answers because Jesus said in his word he said whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven and so this morning we're going to command the morning we're going to speak into the womb of the day whatever your desires may be whatever it is that you are believing God for speak say it now place a demand on it Open your mouth and decree that it comes to you. You go towards it. The Lord brings you closer to it. Ah, today I make sales in my business. Today I make profit in my business. Oh, Lego Sula Baraba Shadaya. Today I receive help. I receive help from the north to the east to the west to the south. Strangers favor me. Strangers help me. 
In the name of Jesus, I make sales today. I break even today. I break through in my finances today. Supernatural provision I receive today for anyone that is wondering, how am I going to get through today? How am I going to pay this bill this week? How am I going to sort my bills out? I want you to speak. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you today. The Lord supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. I lack nothing. I lack nothing. All my needs are met. All my needs are met. All my bills are paid by the supernatural hand of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, all my needs are met. All my bills are paid by the supernatural hand of God. I lack nothing. Today as I step out, I will not return empty. Oh, I will not return empty. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not return empty. In the name of Jesus, men will favor me. Men will favor me. Koraba shadala ikrudosia panda ye. Men will favor me. Anyone that is owing you, koreba shia. Command the release. Today I command a release in the name of Jesus. A release of everyone that is owing me. Every money that has been due to be paid. Let it be released in the mighty name of Jesus. In your office. Sakore Bashadaya. Sakore Bashadaya. Sakore Bashadaya. Anything, any benefit that is due you. Let it be released. Let it be released. I'm speaking for somebody. I'm speaking over someone's life. Any benefit that is long overdue. That you are entitled to. But they have held it back in your your office. I speak in the name of Jesus that this week it is released. There will no no rest. There will no no peace until they give it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, any business deal, any business contract, any sale that will take your business from this level to the next level. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let it be released to your children. Let it be released to us. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Good news from that school that you applied for. Good news from that job that you applied in. Good news from everywhere. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your holy name. I have an announcement to make. Please stay with me. I have an announcement to make. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. If you're on Instagram, I just shared an image. Father, we thank you for answers to prayers. We thank you for answers to prayers. We're still praying. We're going to be taking the communion. We'll take our offering, but I have an announcement to make. If you're on Instagram, if you're on Mixellar, you can join me on Instagram real quick and just see the image I sent. Otherwise, I will share it on the group. And so the Lord has laid it on my heart. Um, you know, I said God has not been speaking concerning Ignite Abuja. But um, lately, the Lord has opened up to me and, you know, he's been speaking to me. I actually thought it was just going to be a one-day meeting. But the Lord said it's going to be a monthly meeting in Abuja. And so we have found a place, um, it's called, we're naming the place Ignite Prayer Hub. We're starting Ignite Prayer Hub in Abuja. Ignite Prayer Hub in Abuja, right in Abuja. And so the Lord has been speaking to me concerning this. We've been praying, we've secured a place, we found a place um, that we'll use and we are meant to secure it. If we get, if we do a one day meeting, the money that we're even going to use to pay for this place for one year would be spent for a one-day meeting because you get a hall 1.5 get this get get all of those things before you know it you spend so much and so god just said the same way we meet in lagos every month is the same way we'll be meeting in abuja it might even be one, more than once a month and so it's going to be called ignite prayer hub it's not as big as the space in lagos because we have to start from somewhere we've never done monthly meetings we've not done monthly meetings in a while and so ignite prayer hub where we are supposed to secure that place financially um i already have access to the place um you know for some reasons i have access to the place but we've not secured it yet it's for, already for us and so we need to secure it. We need to buy chairs. We need to get um, instruments. We can't be renting 
um, what's it called, sound equipment in Lagos and be renting sound equipment in Abuja every month. It will not work. So we need to get chairs. We need to soundproof the place, you know, because it's in a plaza. It needs to be soundproofed. So many things need to be done. We have to buy our own back lines. We have to buy our own drums, speakers, and all of that. And I know that this is not too much for God to do within a month. I'm looking at how that place can be ready a month from now, up and ready. And by the grace of God, by um, September, we should be able to start praying in that place. We should be able to start praying in that place. So I'm saying this by faith in the name of Jesus. I'm saying this by faith in the name of Jesus that the Lord has already gone before us to provide and make a way for us. You know how rent is in Abuja. If you live in Abuja, you already know there is money. If you are in Ignite Lagos, Ignite America, Canada, London, this is an opportunity. God does not have a need. We are the ones that have a need. This is an opportunity to give into a project that is God, God's project. This is an, from wherever you are. Don't say, oh, when she comes to London, we will give towards the London one. No, this is an opportunity for every one of us to partake of and give to. We have to get chairs. We'll buy our own drums. We'll buy our own speakers. We'll, we already have live streaming equipment, so we can still be shuffling that between Lagos. We have our cameras and all of that. We have all of that, but we need backlines. We need sound. We rent sound um, equipment in Lagos. So, but we can't be doing that every month in Abuja. It would choke us. Let's do it once and for all. So from today, I'm not going to repeat it. I will not rub it in your face, but today I want you to give towards it lay it on your heart that you're going to give towards ignite prayer hub abuja a place a house of prayer you will put your money there in the house of prayer you will put your finances there in the house of prayer the place is going to be beautiful it can take about you know 150 to 200 we're hoping it will take about 150 to 200 there's a particular type of chair that we've been told to get so that it would occupy 150 to 200 people so i'm going to share the bank details and um, anyone that wants to give to it is going to cost millions millions but i'm giving it one month god can do it in one week god can do it in two weeks god can do it in three weeks i'm just saying it one month max i believe that place should be ready and up for us to start meeting for prayers in abuja so from today please be a part of it give towards it it's a privilege for you you already know the bank details but i will still share it same account the same account is the same account we are using so i will still share the same details just you know just whatever you the lord lays on your heart give towards ignite prayer hub abuja if you're in london if you're in canada if you're in america wherever you are you can use the same details and just say i'm giving i'm giving towards building the house of prayer in abuja and god will honor your faith in jesus name hallelujah thank you father thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit it's a done deal it's a done deal so the details for giving are now on the screen i would um still announce it if you're giving to our uba bank um, it's one zero two four eight seven four zero three one. If you're giving to UBA Bank, it's one zero two four eight seven four zero three one. If you're giving to Zenit account, it's one zero one five seven seven six zero zero five. And um, if you're giving to using the PayPal, it's Patricia dot Adeyemi at gmail dot com. Patricia dot Adeyemi. So if you're in South Africa and you want to give, please just find a friend or a family that uses paypal and just do it <clears throat> through the paypal and if you're in the usa you want to give use the zelle account eight five seven two nine four nine six eight one hallelujah um ghana the details will be sent to all the groups so if you're in our, on our whatsapp group you can also um give towards it hallelujah it is done it is done it is done i want us to set a place 
that we will not have to rent anything. I want us to do it in such a way that Abuja will just be flowing easily. I don't have to stress myself on paying someone 500k every month for sound or paying. I, we cannot afford to be doing that every month. We can afford it, but it's not wise. You know, we're praying for wisdom to make wise decisions. So let's get towards it. Our chairs, we can buy our chairs. We don't have to rent it. We already have live streaming equipment. If God gives us more than enough, we can even buy Abuja's live streaming equipment and leave Lagos on in Lagos. I don't have to be bringing it every month to Abuja. It costs us money. We pay for excess luggage just to even bring it back to Abuja and use it for the recording for other things that we do. It costs a lot. So if God provides, we would have Abuja's own and we will have Lagos own. Hallelujah. God is able to do more than we can ever ask or think or imagine. Amen. Amen. If we rent a place and we say we're going to be renting a place every month, it's not wise. Abuja is so expensive. We can secure a small place where we will gather and pray and we have access to it anytime. End of the year, we can say we're doing three days prayer meeting, one week prayer session, word feast all those word feasts that i'm recording in my living room we can be doing it there and just do word feast bible study all of that can be there without paying every month for space paying every month for all of this this is god's desire and instruction for us god has already done it amen hallelujah so as you give god bless you let's take our communion let's take our communion hallelujah 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 god is faithful God is faithful. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Lord, we thank you. Let's just lift the communion before the Lord. You can use bread. You can use biscuit. If you're joining us for the first time, you can use bread. You can use biscuit, something, whatever it is that you have around you. Just lift it before God this morning. Just lift it before God this morning. Just lift it before God and speak a word over it. Speak a word over it. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, this is your body broken for me on the cross of Calvary. As I eat your body, I decree and declare that my body will never be broken in the name of Jesus. As I eat your body, I partake of every blessing, every good thing that is in your body is now in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, sickness will not enter my body. Disease will not enter my body. I am divinely protected in Jesus' name. Amen. You may eat it. So I'm in another country and I don't have my communion with me and I'm just going to use water. Just a sip of water and that's it, okay? It's by faith. Everything in this kingdom is done by faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, just lift it up wherever you are. Lift it up wherever you are. Lord Jesus, this is your blood that was shed for me on the cross of Calvary. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as I drink your blood, my blood will never be spilled. I will never need blood transfusion in the mighty name of Jesus. My blood will never be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. I partake of the grace that is in the blood of Jesus. I partake of it. If you need healing in your body, if you need healing in your body, this is the time to take it. Father, I receive the healing, healing in the blood of Jesus. Everything that is going wrong in my body, as I drink your blood, it is flushed out of my system in Jesus' name. I receive healing in my body, strength in my body, wisdom. The Bible says the life of a thing is in its blood. And so in the blood of Jesus is his life. Everything that makes Jesus, Jesus, I partake of it. Everything that makes Jesus, Jesus, I partake of it this morning. In the name of Jesus, I partake of his wisdom. I partake of his understanding. I partake of his grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are fasting today. You can break at 12. You can break at 3. You can break at 6. Next week, Monday, will be our 24 hours fasting and prayer. I believe that's the last 
Monday or the first Monday. Yeah, it should be the first Monday of the month. We'll be at 24 hours prayer and fasting. But today, you can break at 3, you can break at 12, you can break at 6 p.m. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and goodbye for now. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Just take the communion I decree over your life. Every, every Kendra, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.